Hi, this is Tutor Nick Bean, and this is lesson 249. Uh, the title of today's lesson is The Difference Between Biography, Autobiography, and Someone's Memoirs. All right, uh, it's also good to note, remember, memoirs, it comes directly from French, so it's actually pronounced memoirs. It's not pronounced many years or something like that. Uh, in French, when you get an O-I together, it has kind of what we call a wa sound. So that's why it ends up being pronounced memoirs. Uh, in the same way that we pronounce reservoir, you know, that also ends in an O-I-R. And we got it originally from French. Okay, let's look at the difference, because sometimes students will ask, what's the difference between these three? Um, the first one, a biography, this is probably the easiest one to distinguish. Uh, a biography is a book that an author writes about someone else's life. Okay, so in this case, when you see the book and you see the author's name on the book, chances are he is the real author. Now, the other two, autobiography and someone's memoirs, means somebody wrote it about their own life. Uh, sometimes, if it's a real celebrity, sometimes they hired a ghostwriter. And they make the ghostwriter sign a contract that they never reveal this. So, uh, so if someone has an autobiography or someone's memoir, there could be a fair chance that they hired a ghostwriter to do it. And then they just left their name on it. So at least with the biography, it probably truly is the real author. Uh, with somebody's memoirs or autobiography, it may or may not. I mean, it is possible they did write their own books. But you do have to remember, being an author is not easy. It's not easy to write, especially like a lot of politicians or military people uh, that, or generals that graduate. They may not really have great writing skill. Sometimes these politicians, they leave office, and they're only out of office for six months, and uh, bam, they got a book together. And chances are, if they never wrote a book before, they probably hired a ghostwriter to help them with this book. Uh, because, you know, if, if they truly wrote it themselves, it may have taken them many years to actually do it, especially if you didn't have real, true, you know, author writing experience. Okay, let's continue. Um, all right, so this would be a typical example for a biography. Uh, that author wrote a biography about Marilyn Monroe's life. Yeah, so remember this author, he wrote it about somebody else's life. Okay, now let's look at autobiography and someone's memoirs, because they're the two that are really much closer. Uh, an autobiography is a book that an author writes about his or her own life. And it usually starts from childhood and tells of one's life, often up to the time of writing or, or close to it. Uh, so they'll start very, very young, uh, maybe when they were born or in their childhood. With autobiography, so it tends to go really more through their whole life. Uh, autobiographies usually try to be more factual about dates, events, etc. Yeah, they try to make sure they, they got it down perfectly, you know, all the times and the dates, and that, that's actually more important in autobiographies. Okay, so let's, let's uh, take a look at, it, at this autobiography example. That tycoon's autobiography sold well. Uh, his life was a rags to riches story. Remember, it's a rags to riches story. It means somebody was born poor, and uh, then they uh, then they probably through some business um, dealings or adventures or whatever, then they became very very rich. So uh, this is actually more likely to start in the childhood. Because he might want to show uh, the how how he was so poor and he came from nothing and then he became a very uh, rich, powerful person. Okay, uh, let's continue here. Uh, memoirs are also a story that an author has written about one's uh, own life, but they tend to be focused mostly on a particular part of his or her life. Uh, it may not include one's childhood or youth. Yeah, especially if it was like a military guy, maybe people don't care about his, you know, how he was brought up with his family and things like that. So it may not focus on that. 
uh, that's a little bit more likely to start maybe after he joined the army already. So it might be more like that period. Um, all right, let's continue. Uh, one for, yeah, so. Oh, here's an example here. Many generals may choose to write their memoirs. All right, yeah, so just like I said, they probably only want to talk about the time when they were more significant and more important. Um, it could also possibly be true for some politicians, too. They may write about the time period when they got elected or when they had power, and they're more focused on that. Uh, uh, just like it says here, uh, memoirs also tend to be more focused on one's feelings or emotions. So they may not be as focused on the, you know, uh, factual about dates or events or things like that as well. Okay, so hopefully you got a, a clear feeling between these words. Even though I think in recent years somebody's memoirs actually sound a little cooler than the word autobiography. And there is, you know, maybe somebody will choose it just for that reason. And you don't always get the word autobiography or somebody's memoirs actually in the title. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Okay, anyway, I hope this explanation can uh, give you a better feeling of how all three are used and when it's more likely that you call one a biography, uh, an autobiography, or someone's memoirs. Okay, uh, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.